nine months race. Uh, we're all pretty tired and I think everyone's looking forward to taking some time away from the boat and uh, looking forward to spending some time back with our families. Well, it was, it was funny when we actually won the race because we sort of did it in, in drips. We'd sort of won it in L'Oreal, but we hadn't quite but in case we'd incurred any penalties on the last leg. And the last leg, we were a bit in limbo where we were racing as, as hard as we could, but the result didn't actually matter. So it was a very strange one, trying to sell very conservatively. Um, and I don't think the race win has really sunk in yet. Um, my family get here today, so I'm sure, um, I'm sure that'll help. Um, I'm just an emotional softie, that's all. I think the lowest point was probably the middle of leg seven when we were really quite slow along the ice gate running downwind and slipped from second to fifth and Dong Feng were in the lead and it looked like we were probably going to give up most of our lead overall. Um, that was a very difficult sort of three days. Um, unfortunately it didn't turn as, out as bad as we thought because Dong Feng slipped back to fourth at the finish but that, that was probably a low point. The other low point for me personally was I made a terrible start in Auckland and finishing last in the import race in Auckland. Well, since the start of this project, we've tried to concentrate on everything that affects the people. This, we've got the same boats, the same masts, the same sails. This has been called the human edition. And so we've really tried to focus on, on looking after the guys, trying to make the sailors better sailors. And that's, that starts with fitness and nutrition. It, um, it, it extends into coaching and all the advice we can get to try and improve our own technical skills and how we work together. And of course, clothing is crucially important. This race goes to the extremes of hot and cold, and you're not going to perform at your best if you're either too hot in the tropics or too cold in the Southern Ocean. So, you know, it's been a pleasure working with Musto because it's the first time I've worked with a clothing manufacturer where we've actually had interaction with the designers and actually been able to come up with new ideas or modify clothing to how to how we would want it. And of course, we're probably different to other sailing teams in the world. Everyone has their own little particular thing they want, uh, whether it's for their knife or their, their EPIRB or you know, uh, particular body shapes and sizes. So you know, we've worked hard to optimize our clothing as we have everything else. And um, you know, certainly you know, not getting wet in the Southern Ocean, I can tell you, makes a huge difference to your performance. Well, I was the first person to test the new HPX Pro, and I think that included all of the modifications that came from suggestions from our team and, and other Volvo teams as well. Um, I wore it for the whole of the race. Once I had it on, I never, I never took it off. I uh, never went back to the old design. Uh, it, totally waterproof. Um, the drainage was better in the pockets. Uh, I love the windows on the side, so you can have your hood up and you feel like you're protected from the elements, but you can also look around and, and see things and feel that you're not sort of in a cocoon and, and not able to see the wind or not able to uh, see ropes or anything. Um, and uh, I mean, I guess a lot, of the, a lot of the modifications are actually quite subtle that you may maybe don't notice, but when you wear the jacket, you can fit it in the comfort and you can fit it in the performance. So it's got a big thumbs up from me.